We're here with the Ivy Review Literary Society. How are you guys doing? Good. Good, good. So, uh, this is a fresh turning of the wheel. You guys are taking over from the seniors? Yeah, all, all three of us are new. Okay. We um, weren't on the staff before, but all the creative writing majors had graduated, so okay. uh, we're taking over this year, and we're going to have, you know, all, we're going to have a lot of things coming up. We're going to have workshops where if you bring in your work, you know, the Ivy Review staff will critique it, give you some feedback, kind of help you with your writing. Nice. And we, every spring, we, our big thing is the Bad Poetry Contest. So bad Poetry Contest? Yeah, so you submit okay. your bad poetry, and then we have a panel of judges, and uh, the worst poet gets a prize, and all the prizes are really cool every year. It's really cool. Oh, wow, that sounds really neat. So when is that again? The Bad Poetry Contest is in the spring, usually okay. um, in April. And, oh, okay, great. And then the workshops with the Ivy Review, we will just have a few throughout the, each semester. Okay, so here with the Columbia College Ivy Review, where you can submit both good and bad poetry, as well as fiction and nonfiction, long form and short form. Interested in volunteering? We're here with the Committed and Serving Together uh, organization. Hi, what is your name? My name is Morgan Poindexter. Morgan Poindexter, okay, great. And so you've only been on campus, well, since last semester, mm -hmm. right? Yes. Okay, and uh, what kind of volunteer activities do you do? Um, we are looking at a bunch of different places for this year. Um, Club. <laughs> yes, and we're here with a part of the new science club. Different initiatives, different people all together. So uh, it looks like you're going to be participating in Earth Day. Um, so what, what's on the agenda for Earth Day with the science club? Um, I think they did, um, what is that called, a bio blitz? Oh, a bio year? blitz, yes. right. So they're going to have the results of that, or they're going to do a new bio blitz? Uh, they're probably going to do a new one. Everybody goes around and tries to identify all the organisms on campus, all right. the trees and plants and animals and everything they see. Nice, nice. So that's any fungi, anything, any, anything uh, any living thing. Uh, so, how have the students been at that so far? Do they usually carry around a stack of manuals to, to, or what? <laughs> I think what? that some of the science teachers gave them extra credit for doing it. Oh, okay. Yeah, they, they offer like manuals and stuff like that. But can any student do it? Can they sign up and volunteer? Because yeah, it seems like a great way to learn, you know, yeah. the names yep. of things. Cool. So anything else new for this semester with Science Club? Um, we're going to try to do some trips, um, oh, yeah. and canoeing trips, and maybe oh, going cool. to Six Flags to learn about the physics of the roller coasters. Oh, nice. How do you do on roller coasters? Are you okay on those? Oh, yeah. I can't believe it. There is an on-campus Bacchus. Now, Bacchus, hi. Hi. Uh, what is your name? Colette Pitagler. Oh, okay, hi. Uh, now, I got excited. I, I saw Bacchus here, and uh, usually that's like an organization that uh, celebrates and, uh, you know, they, they take in libations and uh, experience altered states. Uh, is that what you guys do? Yeah, it's kind of ironic. Uh, we promote healthy living. Oh, healthy living. living. Yeah. Responsible? Yeah, um, we promote, like, responsible drinking. Right. Healthy lifestyle, like uh, nutrition, uh, oh. fitness, stuff like that. Oh, we okay. put on uh, mocktails, which is like a non-alcoholic uh, happy hour. Oh, mocktails. Yeah. yeah, I saw that written down uh, with another department. Like, uh, other departments are starting to adopt that. Uh, adopt that behavior. So that's neat. So, you know, college students, when they come in, you know, sometimes they can go a little bit overboard, but you guys show them how to take it by the reins and have fun, but not overdo it, right? Exactly. We like to have fun, and we want other people to have fun. Right. We just want them to be safe. To be safe, yeah. Well, let's talk about nutrition. What are some of the biggest pieces of advice that you give students about how to maintain your nutrition while living on campus? Uh, we usually have, like, smoothie parties. Smoothie like parties, to okay. To show, like, fun ways to be healthy. We just promote, you know, if you're eating at Delaney, to not go for the fried stuff or the uh, extra cheesy things, stuff like that. There are like healthy options here on campus that you can take. Yeah, there are healthy options. Just got to know what they are. Mm -hmm. Cool. Any uh, closing statements? Um, everybody should join Bacchus because it's a lot of fun. So join Bacchus. Yeah. All right. Thank you. So it looks like you've been pretty successful at fundraising, you've told me. Mm -hmm. Now, how is that? How do you raise money with this, for this organization? What are some of the things you do? Uh, 
last year, the first fundraising uh, event that we did is uh, during homecoming week where we sell cupcakes. Cupcakes? We sell, yeah, we sell cupcakes and we have like a little flag on top of the cupcakes. Uh -huh. So it makes people like, if you want like a, a particular country, then it'll oh. be really cool for you to like, oh, I want to this country, I'm going to buy it. It's not that expensive, you know. So yeah. Like, we can, we can raise funds really, you know. Yeah. Really. And then uh, last year, another fundraising event that we had is uh -huh. the karaoke night. Karaoke night. Yeah. Oh, those are when, so fun. Yeah, and when we have like the teachers actually sing the karaoke song that the students want, and they huh? have to vote for the students, uh, the, 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 oh, the students. Neat. We have to vote for the teachers. So that's why, you know, we, we can fundraise really well. I mean, we have a lot of ideas. But, right. And we have a lot of people too, because we have a lot of international students. And I think probably the, the, the most interesting part about our club is that we have different, you know, thinking kind of thing. Right. We're from different countries. That's why yeah. we're different from other people. That's why they, they feel really interested in knowing us. Yeah, it's not just a lot of people in the organization, it's that diversity. Yeah, I see. Yeah, a lot of people see. That's so. We have two representatives here today. Hello. How are you? Hey, yeah. And you both are in uh, a class with me with uh, Dr. Alioto, mm -hmm. uh, Philosophy of Religion. Uh, yeah, that was a that was a very interesting class. So uh, we have over here on the left, we have uh, Hammer, as he likes to be called. And uh, can you tell us a little bit about uh, uh, Peace Club? What are some of the things you do? Well, um, Peace Club is just a brand new club on campus, and we actually try to advocate and preach peace. Right. Um, what we're preaching is non-violence. Non-violence. As a means of conflict resolution. Okay. And we also want to incorporate some ideas of making a conducive right. atmosphere for students, right. staff, and non-academic staff of the college to right. thrive in under one roof, meaning coexistence. Um, we want to like try to bring forward like back the, the saloon cultures of the 18th and the, um, century Europe, where we will have a platform of discussions of peace-related issues with the philosophy club of the college, which all of us are members. And okay. we, we also like to, I could say, as a part of this, in most of the recent developments in technology and science and technology to, to reach out a wider, a wider, a vast number of individuals that are willing to preach nothing but peace. And we're here with Philosophy Club. We're here with not only Professor Moxley, but we're here with the president and founder. and founder of the new philosophy club. And so you've been around what? Two semesters mainly? Semester and a half? Second semester, yeah. Second semester. Cool. Oh, you did stuff over the summer. Okay, so so when I first heard about you guys, you were just an email or two, and then you started, uh, I think, a wiki site. But now you've got all these great things going on. I'm really excited. Uh, basically, you have some movies coming up. Can you tell us about that? Yes, we're going to have a film series. We're trying to involve um, all our communities, the Tay campus, the online campus, and the evening campus. Okay. And the film series is actually a good... Um, we're trying to reach out to the, on the evening campus. It's going to be Fridays from uh, two, oh, three to three to five. Okay. Oh, okay. So you got to put out some five. flyers and maybe uh, some displays so they can just walk right in after class, sort of thing. Yes. Oh, that is so cool. I saw some of the movies coming up. Uh, uh, they look pretty good. A lot of them look almost uh, biographical in a way, but also entertaining. I'm going to have to check some of those out. So, uh, what else do you have going on? You have some lectures coming up. Um, right now, we're focusing on getting a few discussions started. We're uh -huh. our first meetings next Tuesday. Oh, okay. Um, What's the hot topic so far? Well, we usually we kind of just pick it that day, and oh, okay. the students agree on it, or we might come prepared. But generally, it's kind of the last second thing.